The amount of jobs that AI will replace in the next decade is so large that OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, have a whole department dedicated to solving universal basic income, which is a scary thought. The fact that we might all be out of jobs here pretty soon. But the good news is we still have time to be on the right side of history if we take action now. By the end of this video, you will know everything that you need to do to make sure that you're able to capitalize on some of the biggest opportunities that we will ever see in our lifetime. So don't miss this one. The AI revolution is expected to bring about big changes and disruptions to the way that we work and live. But with every major technological innovation comes opportunity. During the industrial revolution, people became wealthy by starting businesses that leveraged increased manpower and advanced methods of production. The increased efficiency and output of these businesses allowed people to create generational wealth. And the exact same concept is unfolding right in front of us with the development of AI. AI. But one key difference between the AI revolution and the industrial revolution is the speed in which it is occurring. The AI revolution is simply happening much faster than previous industrial revolutions, so the implication of this technological shift will be felt much, much sooner. In the 1800s, how you got an advantage was leveraging new technology. In 2023, nothing has changed. Those that adapt and learn how to implement AI technology into their business now will win. Those that dismiss the technology and think that it's decades away are those who are going to quickly get replaced. It's as simple as that. AI is the most powerful technology the world has ever seen, yet no one knows how to actually use it yet. And the reason it has become so popular is because the masses have finally had that aha moment with ChatGPT. So in my last video, I actually got very specific talking about the seven best AI businesses you could start using ChatGPT. The concept I shared in that video was around value arbitrage, meaning there are tens of thousands of opportunities to become first to market and actually maximize efficiency, which is a huge opportunity in the short term. But you have to understand if you want to capitalize on that value arbitrage, the amount of success you will see is directly correlated to how fast you take action. Because if everybody has access to these tools over time, it means there is no longer an advantage. So instead of talking about business ideas in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can start a service based business using GPT 3s open API. Open AI simply lets us solve problems faster and cheaper than ever before. And they actually allow us to freely use their API. And that's exactly what their API was made for. They made it so people like us can implement it and use it in our own applications. So quick side note, I am an idea guy. And the goal of this channel is to spark your creativity and help you quickly conceptualize new technology and how you could possibly use it for your business. So if you actually want to learn like the technical side of how to implement put this API into your business or train AI, I'm going to have our CTO make a video on that this week. So if you just put your email in the link below, we'll actually just send you that for free whenever it's done. And that'll probably be really helpful for a lot of you. But with that being said, let's start talking about how you can create AI for businesses and sell that as a service using GPT 3s API. So first we need to define three things, the actual AI that we're going to use, the actual service that we're going to offer and the company that we want to offer this service to. So to clarify, we are not using chat GPT. We are using GPT 3s API, which is made by the same company, but it is a small detail that's important to note. So as I said earlier, the GPT 3 API will allow us to use their language model, but in our own app applications. So this allows us to basically create our own AI system that can then learn from what we feed it. So since GPT-3 is a language model that generates human-like text, we're going to use an AI chatbot to demonstrate the approach that you should take when creating an AI service. And lastly, let's use Best Buy as the example of who we're going to make this service for, considering they have a very large support team. And if we look at their website, we can see that we can talk to the support team through a chat right now. Some of the requests that they handle are online returns, scheduling an installation in your home and checking if an item is in stock at a specific location. So if you actually go to their website and open their chat, you're going to see that it says waiting for an agent will be with you in about three minutes. You're next in line, 
which means that there's most likely humans on the other end of these chat lines. So a quick anecdotal story, about a month ago, I actually called Best Buy so I can get a new TV that I just purchased installed in my home. And on this call, I talked to an older woman who was basically just doing data entry. She asked me for my address, my name, all of my information, and I could hear her typing, entering it into a computer. And this was simply just to schedule someone to come out and install a TV at my apartment. And no offense to her, but it took really long. I would say around 45 minutes. This is something that ChatGPT3 could easily execute on right now, and the execution is relatively straightforward. GPT would just simply check my account order history, check the installation manager's schedule, recommend the mount that I need, produce an invoice for me to pay, and then once that's done, output some dates for me to choose to get the installation on. And this could have saved me a lot of time. This could have been done literally in minutes. And on top of that, I mean, it probably would have saved Best Buy the $15 per hour that they're paying the customer support team to actually do this job. And considering they probably have hundreds of these customer support agents, this could probably save Best Buy millions. And newsflash, my friends, if you can save a company millions, you can easily charge six figures for that service. And we don't even have to stop at just virtual text chat. We can do the same thing with over the phone chat services. So if you actually tie Flicky, which is an AI voiceover company, if you actually tie that to GPT-3's text output, it could then output a very human-like voice, which you could tweak the accent, the speed of, and even the tone to make it sound more friendly. And boom, now you have an AI customer service agent that does text and speech over the phone. So that's a really exciting topic, but I'm gonna save that for another day, how to use these different AI tools together to create different services. And I mean, if you, in the meantime, want to look at all the tools that are out there, I use a website called futurepedia.io, and that kind of shows you every AI tool that exists, fun fact. So conceptually, this is very simple, find a niche create a service using GPT-3's API, and then find companies that want to save money and improve their customer experience with this service. Which is quite simple in theory, but that's the power of GPT-3. There are quite literally thousands of angles here for you to capitalize on, so it's just up to your creativity on how you can utilize the API. We are entering an era of what I like to call value through UI or UX, meaning a lot of people are gonna create similar services, but the way that you stand out is actually by your brand branding, the design of your website, the ease of use, and what the overall user experience is like. This is truly a wide open market right now and the race is officially on. I don't think many people are gonna be creating tools better than GPT-3, let alone making them open to the public. So it seems like this will be the tool that everybody is using and now it's up to your own creativity on how you actually apply the API. So there's a lot of people out there that probably naturally try to poke holes or find the problem with what I'm talking about. But the ones that are actually gonna get rewarded are the optimistic ones who see the potential potential here and just immediately take action. To action this, all you need is four roles, an AI developer, a UI UX developer, a graphic designer for branding, and then basically a strategy on how to get clients. So if you wanna meet people with complimentary skills or just hang out with other people that are similar talking about AI tools or potential ideas, just join my free Discord. We have people talking about it 24 seven and that's where I learn half of what I'm talking about from. So it's quite clear that OpenAI has changed the dynamic of business forever. And I wanna use one more example just to hopefully show you the range of opportunity that's available right now. To me, ChatGPT is the evolution of Google. And if you were like me, like it's actually mind blowing the first time you use it. And it's borderline magic and something that I never thought would become reality. And it was one of those moments in my life that I have so few of where I literally said out loud, this is going to change everything. So imagine you make a website that's geared towards a simple niche, very simple, just input chat. So let's create a prayer generator, for example. And I'll actually demonstrate this live in ChatGPT so you can see what I mean. So you can make a very simple landing page based website with one little chat input, just like Google. And at the top say, generate your own custom prayer for any moment that you're living right now. So for example, if I was someone that wanted to use this website, I would go onto this website and say, write me a prayer about someone struggling with mental health. And then voila, ChatGPT outputs this. Dear God, we lift up to you, our friend who's struggling with mental health. I'm not gonna read it all, but if you wanna pause and read through it, it's pretty miraculous. But I actually wanted to say this prayer with my niece who's in fourth grade. 
and it's a little long. I don't want to read this all. So you just ask the platform to make it shorter and make it for a fourth grader. And there we go. We get one paragraph and they make much smaller words a fourth grader could understand. But my friend Roman is struggling with cancer and I want to make the prayer tailored towards him. So that's exactly what I asked the prayer generator to create. And what do you know? In the first sentence, they use the name. And then on top of that, it goes a little bit in depth around helping him with his journey on cancer. Okay, lastly, now I want to actually add a special touch and add a specific Bible verse that relates to this situation. And what do you know? First try, ChatGPT quotes Ephesians 3.20 in there with his name, with the problem that he's struggling with. And it is a great prayer for people to use if they can't think of one themselves. You can make this a product and let people request custom prayers. You can offer this as a service to churches, or you can even offer it to priests to prepare for their next sermon. There's a lot of different ways this is applicable and can help a lot of people with their day-to-day -day lives. And there's a lot of different things you can do with it. If you want to send them a custom text every morning, then you can charge a monthly subscription for it. Maybe probably leave this one for free. Maybe collect an email address address at most. There's so many different ways and so many different markets that you can implement this idea. The world is literally your oyster. So the idea here is that people are actually going to associate that aha moment that we had using ChatGPT, but now with your front end brand, because that was their first experience with it. So you should definitely disclose on your website that this is powered by GPT-3's API, but a lot of people will still be moved by the impact that this will have on their life. And they're gonna come back wanting more because of how cool it is. So I'm gonna leave it at that for today's video. That was a good example of how you can actually use the API. You can create a service and then sell it to businesses. And then another cool idea of how you can actually leverage this, create language models, make your own front end and output a completely different service as well. So if you did enjoy today's video, I have a lot more coming out about how to optimize your life using ChatGPT, all the different tools you can use to improve and many, many more business ideas coming your way. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss those. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.